Does string gauge really affect guitar tone? Well, I put 13s on my guitar and that affected how much my fingers hurt. My fingers hurt. What's that? My fingers hurt. Oh, well. Oh. And it did, I think, make me play differently, which in turn affected my guitar tone. I don't know if the strings themselves can necessarily change the tone, but the timbre of the notes, I think, most definitely changes. So what I'm going to do in this video is put on the lightest guitar string gauge of all time. Sevens. I don't think there are sixes, are there? I'd like to bend three whole steps. I bought two packs just in case I break a string. But let's find out. Are seven gauge strings even worth playing, or is it just a gimmick? Feels like nothing. <clears throat> All right. This is like thinner than dental floss. <laughs> How am I not gonna just snap this thing? Let's, uh, let's see what a seven gauge string sounds like. All right, seems like this happens to me every time I try something new. Run into a slight issue. The seven gauge string is not strong enough to push this little locking tuning mechanism out of the way. As you can see here, it's supposed to just go through and kind of push the little lock downward so it can fit through. Uh, it's hard to explain, but if you have locking tuners, you know what I mean. It's just not going through, so I have to find a way to unlock this locking tuner enough to feed this noodle of a string through. I think what I'm going to try is push it through with the E string, the heavier E string. And this is basically going to open the little gateway, as you can see it's coming through. So now I'm going to use that as a decoy to get my 7 gauge through there, and we have a success. There we go. An E string helping an E string. That's what you like to see. All right, let's tune up and hear what a seven gauge string set sounds like. Even that feels weird. Whoa, okay. This is crazy. Like you barely have to touch the strings. Like I pulled the string off the fretboard when I went to fret normally. What? These strings are like playing themselves. Okay, what? <laughs> oh! Whoa! The bending is ridiculous. Oh man, I'm such a nerd, but... Uh, I can't wait to turn on some gain. Okay, let's go through the, the protocol here. felt this kind of new feeling playing a guitar before. This is super cool. I gotta turn on some gain. Okay, hold up. I just bent two whole steps. And that feels like a normal bend in standard tuning. Do I dare? <laughs> two and a half steps. Can I get to three? What is this? <laughs> I mean, did Billy Gibbons ever bend three steps? 
Like he used these strings for some reason. I don't remember him bending a three step bend. Am I the first to do it? The string's still in tune also. It's like blistering fast. I don't know how to describe this. If you want to have an insane guitar experience, put seven gauge strings on your guitar. I am going to figure out a creative way to use this <laughs> beyond this video. Uh, I honestly didn't think I would leave these on this guitar. I thought I would just put it back to 13s or 10s or something, but this is awesome. I love this sound. I love this feel. It makes me play differently. Kind of, you know, a little crazy, partly for the video, but partly just because I am having so much fun. Guitar is about having fun, and sometimes when you make content for a living, you can kind of lose that a little bit. Um, this has rekindled the fun that I was missing the past couple days. Freaking awesome, man. So I've got a capo on the first fret here. This guitar is tuned to E flat when I have the 13 gauges on, just for uh, tension reasons. So everything you hear is gonna be played in E standard even though this guitar happens to be an E-flat for the 13 gauge sections. Let's do it. Thank you. 